Hi friends! Today we're going to be reading Spectacularly Beautiful, A Refugee's Story. The story was written by Lisa Lucas and the pictures are by Laurie Stein. Every day, Shahad came to school with perfect hair. It was perfectly combed and perfectly braided, and the ribbons, they were perfectly tied. One day, Miss Chirong set up tables with paper and pencils and pots of paint. I want you to draw a memory, but not any memory. This one has to come from the place you were born. Trivian drew a shiny red bicycle. Toyette painted a big bowl of rice. Tyranny drew a bunch of kids running through tall, green grass. And Shahad just sat there, doing nothing. Shahad, Miss Chirong smiled, I can't wait to see your picture. So Shahad quickly scribbled a pile of broken bricks and crabby looking faces. Miss Chirong asked the children to sit on the carpet so they could share their pictures with one another. Toyette held hers up first. In my country, my grandma made me eat rice. There it was every single day, a big bowl of white, sticky goo. Ick! Then Tierney held up the picture really high. I loved running in the grass, round and round and round with my friends until we dropped to the ground laughing. Trivian pointed to the bicycle in his picture. In my country, everyone rode bikes. Everyone! Just before I had to leave, my uncle gave me this brand new red bicycle. It was perfect, but I had to leave it behind. Trivian looked down, his eyes growing wet. Miss Chirong leaned towards him. You know, there is a used bike store just around the corner from the school. I don't know if they have a red one, but maybe you and your parents could stop in and have a look someday. Shahad stood up. In my country, we have the best food in the whole world. Our hummus is my favorite. It's not as good here. Then Shahad looked around at her friends and their bright, happy drawings and pointed to her own. But these are the bricks that made my eye look like this, and my leg like this. Then the children took their seats and Shahad quickly plopped herself down. The bell rang and the children handed their pictures to Miss Chirong. She stopped Shahad on the way out and told her how much she liked the braids in her hair. Shahad smiled, a little. The next morning, Miss Chirong told Shahad how much she liked the yellow ribbons in her hair. Shahad smiled, a bit more. And just before lunch, Shahad marched up to Miss Chirong and asked, Do you think I'm beautiful? Miss Chirong looked at Shahad, paused, and smiled. I think you are spectacularly beautiful. Day after day, Shahad asked the same question. And day after day, Miss Chirong looked at Shahad, paused, and smiled. I think you are spectacularly beautiful. Then the last day of school arrived. Miss Chuang looked a little sad. I'm going to miss you over the summer, but I will be teaching children your age in a country that has a few problems. And those children, they'll remind me of you. Days went by. The summer ended and the first day of school arrived. Miss Chuang welcomed the new children to her class. They all had a great first day. When the bell rang at the end of the day, Miss Chirong led the children out. On the way, she spotted Shahad. They looked at each other for a long time. Then, Miss Chirong showed Shahad her scar. It was new. Do you think I'm beautiful? Shahad looked at Miss Chirong, paused, and smiled. I think you are spectacularly beautiful. Here's the author's note included at the end of the book. I've worked in high needs schools in Toronto, Canada for many years. I've taught kids who have challenges that would bring many adults down, and I marvel at their resilience and grit. They don't crumble. They don't fall. They move forward, sometimes a little more slowly, but forward is forward. Shahad was one of those students, and through the injuries inflicted on her were more far serious than those depicted in the book. Her feisty self-confidence and forward thinking inspired me to write this book. She really is spectacularly beautiful. Let's think. What makes the people in your class spectacularly beautiful? Now, if you're not sure what spectacularly means in this example, it means impressive, dramatic, or in an eye-catching way. And use in a sentence, 
An example would be, the Christmas tree is spectacularly lit up. Thank you all so much for joining our read aloud this week and make sure to tune in again next week. Have a great day, everyone.